statement one talks about only list A and not list B, so cannot be sufficient. Two talks about only list B and not A, so cannot be sufficient. On combining, list A has terms a bit far away. Any two terms are not less than three places away from each other. For example, 1, 5, 9, 15, 20, something like this. And list B has the terms nearby, something like 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 9, 10, something like this. Difference between any two consecutive terms is not more than 2. And one would think that on combining, the resultant list would have terms a bit nearby because of the terms in list B. And therefore, resultant list C will have lower standard deviation. Yes, in this case, but imagine a scenario such as this, that A is 159 and B is 1001, 1002, 1003 something like this and now put the two lists together you will see that the average will be something around 500 and the terms are so far away that the standard deviation is going to be a lot lot more than the standard deviation for A alone and therefore even on combining we cannot be sure in this case the answer would be no Standard deviation of list C is not more than the standard deviation for list A, but in this case we will get yes as an answer. No and yes both are possible and therefore even combining did not help and the answer is option E.